Hey, we're diving for crayfish and abalone. We're just going to cook up everything a heap of different ways. And... Mm, that's damn good. Is it good? Yeah. Back to another episode. Today we're diving for crayfish and abalone. So we got Tim here, he's a Tassie local. He's offered to take us out on, on his boat, show us a few spots, show us how to get these crayfish. It's a perler of a day, as you can see. I think it's going to be a lot warmer in the water than it is out. I'm not totally excited about the whole thing, but I'm sure I'll get into it once we get down there. I've got absolutely zero experience doing this, I just learned to snorkel, so this is going to be fun. Anyway, we'll see you down there. Okay, I'm just interrupting this episode really quickly to do some explaining. And I wanted Shane to be here for when we explained this, but he is off filming another episode with our friend Bill, who's in this episode. So, I'm here in our room that we're staying at the Great Lake Hotel, because we're working here for a couple months, and just been editing this episode, and realised the content has not quite come out as we had hoped, and... This is what I get when I leave the boys to go film it without me there, but that's totally fine. So, what happened? Obviously we've titled this a catch and cook. We'll be upfront and honest and admit that we didn't really get the catch part on camera. So, what happened was our, Shane and our friend Ross from Wander and Rome uh, had a bit of a miscommunication about the GoPro. Because Ross was the one that had our GoPro, he was the one that was mainly catching the abalone. Shane is very much a believer of being... <laughs> on the water, not in the water, but Shane had turned the GoPro on ready for Ross for when he started diving. Ross didn't realize this, and so Ross was thinking he was turning it on, but he was actually turning it off, and then was going to turn it off, but he was actually turning it on. So all the footage I have of when Ross is in the water is just a beautiful kelp forest swaying in the tide. So I figured I'd show you that anyway, it's pretty beautiful, but yeah. Not quite the catch and cook we had in mind so bear with us just a little bit of this and then we're going to get into cooking lots of delicious crayfish abalone and more and so it's definitely worth a watch Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was That's on. how you didn't get me down again to get the abs. <laughs> but you turned it off. Yeah. He turned it off. <laughs> but he thought he just turned it on. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Tim. Thank you very much.
Well, yeah, I don't know if I can go for the moon if we need to. Yeah. He's got chilies out there, hasn't he? Yeah, it's yeah. chilies in the garden. Are you feeding the car? No. Inside. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> the key's in the ignition to my unit, if you want to take it. That's all right, I'd rather drop shit. Nothing against yours, I'd just freak out when I drive to the people's car. Yeah, she'll break the crank shaft. <laughs> Baby chassis. Back, uh, it's the next day we're back in Bill and Brooks' kitchen. Um, yesterday it turned out pretty crap, as you'll see, the, the weather sort of went to shit. Yeah, I was hoping to get a bit more footage of actually grabbing the craze, which was all of Tim and not any of us. <laughs> he, had the, um, he had the air, the hooker, so he'd get right down and, and find them, which just meant that yeah, we couldn't really get near it to actually film it. Plus, I'm not real good at diving, as you would have seen, so. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it turns out alright, that footage from yesterday. Yeah, what we're going to do today is just a, a number of different recipes. We've got a little bit of squid here as well that we got the other day, so we're just going to cook up everything a heap of different ways and yeah, it should look pretty delicious and hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll taste good. Alright, so we're going to do a couple of the abalone, um, just sort of salt and pepper, salt and pepper squid style, is what I'll say. So generally what I've been taught with these is you, you tenderise them so you beat them a bit. So I'm going to do them that way and then Brooke's got a recipe she's going to do as well, which is going to be cool. Big family recipe. Yeah, classic one. So what I'm going to do not to make a mess of everything is jam a few in this bag. Trusty Yeti bottle slash hammer. This thing gets used for a lot. I'm just going to slice them real thin. This one feels good. Just chopping up the squid? Yeah, I just cut this squid the same way. Whoa. Right, so we're just going to make just salt and pepper, so it's just going to literally be flour, flour, salt and pepper, I'll probably get pretty heavy on the salt and pepper, um, so you really get that flavour and yeah, just sort of a light coating. So. may seem like an excessive amount, but you know, the amount of, that's actually going to stick to it is going to be fairly minuscule. I'm sort of aiming for that where you can see the flecks of pepper through it. And I hope the salt is something similar. Do the abs first, I suppose. Uh, 
What do you guys think about the abalone? It's delicious. Yeah, it's some kiwi? Yes, yeah, so good. I can't wait to try your abalone rolls though. I know. So Brooke's going to make us her famous abalone rolls, family recipe. Indeed. So Brooke was just saying step one <coughs> in the process of abalone rolls is to blend up the abalone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just with some garlic and salt and a bit of chili, but it's really any you can do what you would like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. It's really good. For like a smorgasbord of seafood today. Yeah. This is a dream. This is the dream. This is how we should eat every day. How good's Tazzy? Yeah. <laughs> We're sold. Which is your favourite, the abalone or the squid? Uh, abalone is damn good. The squid is also very good. Do you always get like abalone like on the sunshine coast, like restaurants or anything? No. I don't think I've, no, I've never eaten it until you guys cooked it for us. You just don't think about those things because we get it all the time. Like, yeah. It's so easy to get. It's freaking delicious. Mm -hmm. She's good. So just heaps of salt? Yeah. Well, I'm just putting heaps of salt in. Like, I'm just putting everything in this one. And then when I blend up the rest of it, I'll mix it all together as yeah, well. Okay. Thank you. I do that. Good. So you want it to be like, not like a paste, but like fine chicks. Like mince really. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's almost like, you know when you have like prawn toast at a Chinese restaurant? Yeah. That kind of like, if you get proper prawn toast, when you need those kind of small chunks of prawn. Yeah, you similar. Delicious. Well, actually, at the moment it looks a bit gross. But yeah, it looks a bit like snot. Or like chopped up intestines or something. Yeah. So ideally white bread, but in theory you could use any bread for this. Yeah, any bread. The chicken's gonna love that. So step two, roll out your bread. Well, we're probably on step four or five actually now, but. Four different friends. Then your whole tags and points would just be. Scribbles out the whole time. Crosses would be hard yeah. to read. What are you doing? You filming me? Yeah. yeah. My reaction to Timmy Turtle getting fined. Yeah, you upset about it? He was set up. He yeah. was set up! It's ridiculous. <laughs> I have to try and tag Timmy Turtle in this. Yeah. Timmy, you were set up! Well, he was. People dubbed on him. That's ridiculous. Your dogs? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know. It was an honest mistake. Someone could have just told him. You don't need to dob them in, him into fisheries, right? You could just message him and be like, Hey, bro, not sure if you're aware, but FYI. Maybe they did. I don't know the full story, but mm. yeah. I didn't know... The, like what he got done for, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, we'll be changing our crap pots in future. Mm. But fisheries were quite nice to him about it. They weren't. Yeah, fisheries are usually pretty good. Fisheries in Queensland were good to him about it. Brooke was just saying fisheries in Tasmania can be pretty brutal. Mm. Mm. Okay, next step back to the abalone rolls. Just pop it on. And then we just roll it over. And stick it through. Oh wow. Pinch it as that a little bit. Hmm. I feel like there'll be some of this stuff left over so you can take that in one of those freezer bags. Freezer bags. Oh, then we can make some ourselves. Yeah, oh, <gasps> grainy. So all the hard work's already done. Oh. It's just the lack of food processor that's our kind of problem with making these. Except Sam's got those little Tupperware ones, I guess. Yeah, those are like pool ones. Pool ones? Yeah, yeah. they're pretty good. I'll serve that purpose. Do you know what I know? Is it? Oh, it's so much. Yeah. Take care, huh? 
is lower peaks. Do you know, see, you hear them go, ah, 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 that's two of them talking back and forth to each other. It's not one going, ah, ah, ah. Right. Yeah. And then speed up. I thought it sounded like someone using a saw, like. Yeah, it does sound like someone using a saw. <laughs> Got a Regan? Yeah. These look damn good. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you. Thanks, Brooke's family. Well, that's Thanks, Pascal Shano. That's a hot one. You could have chosen a cool mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I didn't. Um... <laughs> it's a hot. Me. <laughs> Mm, that's damn good. Is it good? Yeah. Should I try one? I just grab one, it's not so hot. Mm. These ones are the ones cooked first. Um, oh, yeah. It's good, eh? Mm hmm. Oh, Brooke, these are delicious. You are? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Gone. Big tick of approval for Brooks yeah. family recipe. Yeah, that's damn good. Mm -hmm. good? Tastes like bread, of course it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. She's inside a gas What are you doing? Cooking this dog. Chili garlic style. This is how I cook mud crabs, I'm gonna try it with this. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna take the tail out, clean it, and then yeah, just do all that. So, pretty sure for these, you just do this. That should just come out. So I'm to fling and <laughs> Get crayfish the, juice everywhere. Paint the walls with bloody crayfish. Ugh, yuck! What? Yucky! It's food, mate. Yeah. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Yeah. What? I think. I just have a perpetual fishy taste in my mouth right now. What are you eating? Lots of seafood. Yeah. Okay, that's that. Also, if anyone hasn't tried this gin, is it? Definitely try it. It is delicious. So this is super, super simple recipe. This is um, pretty much exactly how I do my mud crabs. So it's just chili garlic. We'll just fry that off and then chuck the what do you call them? crayfish. Chuck the crayfish in, and then a little bit of water and just steam it. I'm sh I assume it'll be just as delicious with bloody crayfish as it is mud crabs. So. Same theory, right? Yeah. They're all cross stations at the end of the day. Alright, well, I'm going to leave you to prep that. So I'm just going to quickly fry that to get it smelling delicious. Sting in your eyes. Just move that around while I burn that garlic. You need to move it around for me? Mm. Nope. I'll turn this dog on. Right, uh, 
put a, a little bit of water in at the bottom. Let's see if this is going to get hot. That nah, should do it. Anyway, lid on. 15, 20 minutes. Right, yeah, she's good. Yum, though. Look at all the stuff from earlier, Cupid lying around, everything. There you go. Delicious. It's recording, yeah. Sweet, we'll grab our little leggy poo or whatever you want to get. It's going to be hot. It's delicious. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, that's just as good as with my crab. Oh, yum! Yeah, 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Careful. You lost an eye. Oh, oh look at that. Buggers. Pulled out. Mm. Delicious? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's literally just like, buddy, my crab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the legs are definitely where it's at, hey? Yeah, they reckon they're the best. Oh, hot. Where are your little crabby forks when you need them? Yeah, I know. These are pretty good. You need to squash them. This is me wincing in pain as it stabs me. Yeah. A bit of juice down the bottom there. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's a good game. <coughs> Alright, should we? End it. Yeah. We're going to go enjoy this. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Big um, shout out to Tim. Thanks again for taking us. Thank you, Tim. You absolute legend. It's a pretty, pretty cool thing to do for people you don't, don't even know. Um, and yeah, obviously he's pretty much gifted all this to us because none of us were able to, <laughs> to get down deep enough to actually grab him. So he went down and got all these, all these craze. I can't take the credit for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's obviously pretty good at what he does, and uh, yeah, top bike, really generous guy to, yeah, like I say, help us out. Tim, we'll definitely catch up with you for a beer. Yep. You bloody legend. Other than that, if anyone else wants to take us up fishing. Yeah, yeah, we, we love being taken fishing. So. <laughs> Not that I facilitated this time, there was too many other people that were interested in going, and I probably would have just sat in the boat and filmed everything, so. Yeah. I thought it was best for people that would actually probably enjoy it more to go out, but. Yeah. I enjoy this part. Yeah, who doesn't? This is the best. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So, thanks anyway, for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Crayfish. Ah. Um.